Ever pondered the idea of turning your daily routine into a powerhouse for your body? Well, today we're delving into a topic that's not just a supplement, but a potential game changer for your fitness journey. Have you ever wondered, what happens to your body when you take creatin every day? Now, we all know creatin is a staple in the fitness world, a go-to for those seeking to enhance their performance and build muscle. But what's the real story behind the scenes? What happens when you make creatin a daily ritual? Join me as we uncover the fascinating effects, the potential benefits, and perhaps a few surprises that come with incorporating creatin into your everyday life. From the gym enthusiasts to the curious minds, this is the insider's look at the transformative journey your body might undergo. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest insights. Now, let's get to the heart of the matter. What truly happens to your body when you take creatin every day? What exactly is creatin? And is it something detrimental to your health? Let's dive into the details and unravel the mysteries surrounding this compound. Creatine is the top sports performance supplement available. Yet despite its research-backed benefits, some people avoid creatine because they worry it's bad for their health. Some claim it causes weight gain, cramping, and issues with digestion, the liver, or the kidneys but hundreds of studies support its safety and effectiveness. This article provides an evidence-based review of creatin safety and side effects. Is creatin a steroid? Some people wrongly claim that creatin is an anabolic steroid, that it's unsuitable for women or teenagers, or that it should be used only by professional athletes or bodybuilders. Despite this negative press, the International Society of Sports Nutrition regards creatin as extremely safe, concluding that it is one of the most beneficial sports supplements available. One study examined 69 health markers after participants took creatin supplements for 21 months. It found no adverse effects. Creatin has also been used to treat various diseases and health concerns, including neuromuscular disorders, concussions, diabetes, and muscle loss. Is creatin safe to take every day? Research has shown that it is safe to consume creatin supplements daily, even over several years. There is no evidence to support any significantly detrimental side effects in people who consume high doses of creatin, 30 grams day, for up to five years. In fact, research has shown positive health benefits in athletes who took daily supplements of creatin for long periods of time. Does it cause dehydration or cramps? Creatin alters your body's stored water content, driving additional water into your muscle cells. This fact may be behind the theory that creatine causes dehydration. However, this shift in cellular water content is minor, and no research supports the claims about dehydration. A three-year study of college athletes found that those taking creatine had fewer cases of dehydration, muscle cramps, or muscle injuries than those not taking it. They also missed fewer sessions due to illness or injury. One study examined creatin use during exercise in hot weather, which can accelerate cramping and dehydration. During a 35-minute cycling session at 99 degrees Fahrenheit, 37 degrees Celsius, creatin had no adverse effects on cyclists compared with OA placebo. Further examination via blood tests also confirmed no difference in hydration or electrolyte levels, which play a key role in muscle cramps. The most conclusive research has been conducted in individuals undergoing hemodialysis, a medical treatment that may cause muscle cramps. Researchers noted that the group taking creatin experienced a 60% reduction in cramping. Based on the current evidence, creatin does not cause dehydration or cramping. If anything, it may protect against these conditions. Does creatine cause weight gain? Research has thoroughly documented that creatine supplements cause a quick increase in body weight, in a study, one week of high-dose loading of creatine supplementation, 20 grams day, increased participants' body weight by around 2, 6 pounds, 1, 3 kilograms. Over the long term, studies show that body weight may continue to increase to a greater extent in creatine users than in people who do not take creatine. This weight gain is due to increased muscle growth, not increased body fat. Increased muscle may also have benefits for older adults, individuals with obesity, and those with certain diseases. How does it affect your kidneys and liver? Creatin can slightly raise levels of creatinine in your blood. Creatinine is commonly measured to diagnose kidney or liver conditions. However, the fact that creatin raises creatinine levels does not mean that it is harming your liver or kidneys. 
To date, no study of creatin use in healthy individuals has provided evidence of harm to these organs. A long-term study of college athletes found no side effects related to liver or kidney function. Other studies measuring biological markers in the urine found no difference after creatin ingestion, one of the longest studies to date, lasting for four years, similarly concluded that creatin has no negative side effects. Another popular study often cited in the media reported kidney disease in a male weightlifter who supplemented with creatine. But this single case study is insufficient evidence. Numerous other factors, including additional supplements, were also involved. That said, use caution. When it comes to taking creatin supplements, if you have a history of liver or kidney concerns, a healthcare professional can help you decide whether taking creatin is right for you. Does creatine give you acne? There is no evidence that creatine causes acne. Creatin may enhance your ability to exercise harder and longer, leading to increased sweat. While sweating can lead to acne, creatin itself does not. Some research has demonstrated that creatin may help your skin by improving skin wrinkles, aging, and damage when used topically. How does creatine interact with other drugs? As with any diet or supplement regimen, it is best to discuss your creatine plans with a doctor or other healthcare professional before you start. You may also wish to avoid creatine supplements if you take any medications that affect liver or kidney function. Creatin may interact with certain medications, so check with your doctor before starting supplementation. Creatin can help improve blood sugar management, so if you are using medication known to affect blood sugar, you should discuss creatin use with a doctor. You should also consult a healthcare professional if you are pregnant or nursing, or if you have a serious condition such as heart disease or cancer. Other potential side effects, some people suggest that creatin can lead to compartment syndrome, a condition that occurs when excessive pressure builds inside an enclosed space, usually within arm or leg muscles. Although one study found increased muscle pressure during two hours of heat training, this resulted mainly from heat and exercise-induced dehydration, not from creatin. Researchers also concluded the pressure was short-lived and insignificant. Some claim that creatin supplements increase your risk of rhabdomyolysis, a condition in which muscle breaks down and leaks proteins into your bloodstream. However, this idea is not supported by any evidence. The myth originated because a marker in your blood called creatine kinase increases with creatine supplements. This slight increase is quite different from the large amounts of creatine kinase associated with rhabdomyolysis. Interestingly, some experts even suggest creatine may protect against this condition. Some people also confuse creatine with anabolic steroids, but this is yet another myth. Creatin is a completely natural and legal substance found in your body and in foods, such as meat, with no link to steroids. Finally, there is a misconception that creatin is suitable only for male athletes. Yet no research suggests that it is unsuitable in recommended doses for women or older adults. Unlike most supplements, creatin has been given to children as a medical intervention for certain conditions, such as neuromuscular disorders or muscle loss. Studies lasting as long as three years have found no negative effects of creatin in children. Benefits of creatin Creatin is widely recognized for its ability to enhance athletic performance. However, research has recently suggested that the potential benefits of these supplements may expand beyond athletic performance to encourage healthy aging and benefit brain health. Athletic Performance Creatine replenishes your body's stores of adenosine triphosphate, ATP, a molecule that stores energy and fuels your cells to provide energy to your muscles. This increase in available energy has been shown to boost muscle size, strength, and power. In fact, studies have shown that creatine supplements can increase markers of athletic performance, including muscle power and strength, by 5-15%. Healthy Agen, Research suggests that taking creatin supplements may help keep your muscles and bones healthy as you age. One 10-week study showed that men aged 5977 who supplemented with 5 mg pound, 10 mg per kilogram, of creatin and 14 mg pound, 30 mg per kilogram, of protein significantly grew upper body muscle mass and reduced bone breakdown, compared to those who took a placebo. What's more, a review of studies in 405 older adults found greater improvements in muscle mass and strength in those who supplemented with 522 gram of creatine combined with resistance training compared to those who did resistance training alone. 
Brain health creatine supplements have been shown to increase levels of creatine in the brain by nearly 10%, which may promote brain health. It's thought that taking these supplements enhances brain function by improving the energy supply to the brain and providing cellular protection. In one study, people who supplemented with 8 grams of creatine per day for 5 days reduced mental fatigue during mathematical calculations compared to those taking a placebo. Similarly, a review of six studies found that doses of 520 gram of the compound may improve short-term memory and intelligence in healthy people. Dosing strategies, creatine powder is typically mixed with water or juice and taken before or after workouts. You can supplement with creatine in one of two ways. Creatine loading, the standard way to take the supplement is through what's known as creatine loading. Creatine loading involves taking 20-25 grams of creatine split into four five equal doses for five seven days. Following loading, three five grams, 14 mg pound or 30 milligrams per kilogram per day is necessary to maintain your muscle stores of creatine. The purpose of loading is to saturate your muscle cells with creatine quicker so that you can experience its benefits sooner. To experience the effects of creatine, your muscles must be fully saturated with it, which typically takes five seven days of loading. Maintenance dose, Skipping the loading phase and taking the maintenance dose of 3-5 grams daily is the other way to supplement with creatine. This method is just as effective as creatine loading, but it takes much longer, typically 28 days, to experience the same benefits. Compared to the loading method, taking the maintenance dose over a longer time may be more convenient, since it involves just one dose per day rather than 4-5 daily doses. Is creatine safe? Creatine is a safe, well-studied supplement. Studies in a variety of people have shown no detrimental health effects of taking creatine supplements in doses up to 420 grams per day for 10 months to five years. That said, it's commonly thought that taking these supplements may harm kidney health. However, in a study in people with type two diabetes, a condition that may impair kidney function, supplementing with five grams of creatine per day for 12 weeks did not harm kidney health. Nonetheless, Long-term studies in people with kidney disease are lacking. People with impaired kidney function or those taking medications should check with their healthcare provider before supplementing with creatine to ensure safety. While creatine is considered a safe supplement, keep in mind that you may experience side effects related to overconsumption. Side effects of taking too much creatine. Despite the strong safety profile of creatine, taking larger than recommended doses isn't necessary and may result in some minor side effects. Bloating. Creatine loading can result in a significant gain in body weight due to an increase in both muscle mass and water intake into your muscles. While harmless, this increase in body weight may cause bloating. For example, one study found that taking creatine supplements for 28 days, which also included a loading phase, increased the body weights of participants by 2.9 pounds, 1.3 kilograms, on average. This weight gain accounted for both muscle growth and water retention. While not everyone experiences bloating when taking the supplements, you may be able to reduce it by skipping the loading phase and taking the maintenance dose of 3-5 grams per day instead. Stomach discomfort. Taking too much creatine at one time can result in stomach discomfort. For example, in one study athletes who supplemented with 10 grams of creatine in a single serving experienced diarrhea, stomach upset, and belching. Those who supplemented with a 2-5 gram single dose did not report the same side effects. That said, if you choose to follow the loading protocol, you can avoid these side effects by taking 20-25 grams of creatine split into four, five equal doses throughout the day. Taking too much creatine is futile. Taking too much creatine at one time can result in stomach discomfort and bloating, and it's a waste of money. After your muscles are fully saturated with creatine, it's recommended to take 3-5 grams, 14 mg pound or 30 milligrams per kilogram, daily to maintain optimal muscle stores. Because this amount is enough to keep your muscle stores of creatine saturated, taking more than the recommended maintenance dose will cause you to excrete the excess creatine through your urine, as your body can only store so much. Let's discuss some another benefits of creatine loading. A creatine loading phase may be the fastest way to benefit from creatine's effects. Some benefits of maximizing your muscle stores of creatine include muscle gain. Studies consistently tie creatine supplements to significant increases in muscle mass 
when combined with resistance training, muscle strength. After create and loading, strength and power may increase. Improved performance. After create and loading, performance during high intensity exercise may jump. Injury prevention. In many studies, athletes using creatin reported less muscle tightness and fewer sport-related injuries, like strains, than non-users. How to create and load? Creatine supplements are widely available in brick and mortar stores and online. The most well-studied form is creatin monohydrate. Studies suggest that 5G of creatin monohydrate four or five times daily for five, seven days is the most effective way to increase. You can determine your daily dose for the loading phase by multiplying your weight in kilograms, kg, by 0.3, for example. An individual weighing 80 kilograms, 176 pounds, would consume 24g, 80x0.3, of creatine daily during the loading phase. Once your muscles are completely saturated, a daily maintenance dose of 3,5g can help you maintain high levels. Keep in mind that your muscle stores of creatine will gradually decrease to your usual levels when you stop taking creatine supplements. As we wrap up this journey into the world of creatine, I hope you've gained valuable insights into the transformative effects it can have on your body when taken every day. If you found this information helpful or intriguing, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow fitness enthusiasts, and hit that subscribe button for more in-depth explorations into health and wellness. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to understanding how our bodies respond to different elements. If you have any questions or want to share your own experiences with Creatin, feel free to drop a comment below. I love hearing from our amazing community. Stay tuned for more exciting content, and until our next exploration into the science of well-being, keep striving for your fitness goals, stay fueled with knowledge, and as always, take care of your incredible body. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay fit, stay curious, and stay unstoppable.